Had to do, do it again. I done came in here with the twins. I done came in here with 217. 217, say something. 217 on the track, man. Yeah, with my friends, we get turned up. We get turned up. We get turned up. And with my friends, we get turned up. Okay, okay, the twin turn up. Yo, let's pick up this paper. Narrow. And put down the guns. Your mama know you ugly. You your daddy, son. Yo, first I hear the beat. Then I kill my step. Hit on with no hips. Slide to the left. Yo. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Kat, and you're kicking it with me and my friend today. Woo! What about your friend? Hey. And today's topic is friends, of course. So, how do we meet each other? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Girl. <laughs> All right. Me and Ferrari, I mean LaCara, we met in uh, Winans Academy. Um, ninth grade here? Yeah, but we didn't know each other like that. But we met at college. So. And I met Ashane, ninth grade. We talk, but we we no, we weren't on that level like that. Mm -hmm. Me, Ashane, I mean, love. Uh -oh. <laughs> Are we friends? Oh. Don't play, don't play. <laughs> Me and Elena, I think we met sophomore year. Yeah, sophomore year. Then I met Ferrari. <laughs> Freshman year. So now we all go to school together, and we're closer than ever, girl. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. <laughs> That's a little thumbnail. But yeah, so we got real close to freshman year. Mm -hmm. Well, not really freshman year, but sophomore, sophomore year. Yeah. Sophomore year was sophomore the year. year. It was like the deal breaker. It was like you knew who your friends was. And and you knew who was. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sixteen. But uh <laughs> of a friend. Lena? Man, a friend is that person who will be up there with you till 3 o'clock in the morning to help you untangle your hair when it's matted to the well, scalp. Okay! Okay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I remember you them days. Baby! Baby! Her too. Mm -hmm. A friend is Well, to me, a friend is someone real close to you. I mean, you grow this bond. It's like a sisterhood. And, you know, you grow this bond. You go through struggles together. You help each other with advice. You, you know, makeup, okay, hair. I mean, anything. It's just someone who's basically like your ride or die. Somebody who's got your back. Got your back no matter what. In the light, if you in the dark. If you in the wrong, and if you in the right, and if you in the wrong, they will tell you no matter how you feel. I mean, you may not like it at the time because mm -hmm. we know, that. we know, we y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, know. know. I may not like some of the stuff y'all say, but then you know, I just like, dang, they looking out for me. Mm -hmm. We got so, good intentions. Yes, yes. Right. And speaking of good intent, uh, good intentions, how do you choose the right friends? You know, some of you guys be bickering back and forth on social media talking mm -hmm. about this girl like this blah 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 i mean how do you choose the right one how do you know you have the right group of friends around you for me basically it's based off my personality you know i'm just out there and you know 
I like to have friends who compliment that, you know what I'm saying? Someone who kind of calm, just tell me, girl, you need to shut up. Or somebody, you know, just in my ear like, ah, girl, girl, ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> Bitch, what? Here all comes with time because you know you just sometimes for me i know that i gotta sit back and be observant about certain things oh, how yeah. people interact with certain people mm -hmm. when certain people leave and how they interact with more people you know what i'm saying so how do i choose the right people it's the way how they carry themselves through their actions and their words but really their actions speak a lot about them so i guess by that somebody who got the same kind of um, mindset or like-mindedness as you or you know things like that same goals and stuff and aspirations so that's what I'll say. How's your name? Uh, I agree with Elena because time I feel like time tells everything um, after a while you you will know who your friends are especially uh, when, when things get tough then you will know you know who's there and who's not because when things get tough, everybody want to everybody want to leave. So you want know, you know who's there in the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the Bible says, yes, get get the get words, get, put the you words, show yourself friendly, something. But that means to me, uh, how you choose the right friend. Like first of all, God didn't put them in your life for a reason. I um, I what I do is if I have ran across people in my life I pray to make sure that they are in my life and if they're in my life God will reveal that they are there for me so I pray to God and God show who, who and who is not my friend and yeah so. hold on I just noticed something we kind of matching by Janae she just she just Girl, left the squad. I had to pop a color. You know, she she left off. the squad. I got to pop a color on my lips. She left she the squad, bro. The lips. We black. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how you know if you're friends, bro. Y'all just be matching. It's so unintentional. Y'all just mm -hmm. be matching. Y'all be like effortless. Hold up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got the lip. When do you when do you know you need to cut off a friend? I mean, and ain't that thing cut that? Oh, snip, 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 snip. <laughs> If they not there with me when I'm going through some stuff, that's my indication that I'm gonna cut you off. So mm -hmm. it's like, and it's like, it's when we in there, right? Like, it's like little things you see, like that don't me and her not gonna get along, me and him or whatever. So, but one thing is, if you not there when I need you, you, you done. I'm cutting you off. I think for me, like how I know I need to cut somebody off, it's like. When, if your negative behavior, energy, or actions are having an influence on me, you know what I'm saying? It's like changing me for the worst. Or something like, right. you know, mentally, I'm waking up. Or, or I'm waking up with an attitude, or it trying is. to step on eggshells so I could make you satisfied. Or something. I don't know. You will know when you need to cut somebody off. You know, you just gotta do it before it's too late. Do it. Snip, snip. <laughs> cut off them bad ends, okay? Cut them, mm -hmm. cut them split ends. You oh, never okay. know, like the people you hang around, it'll keep you from a blessing or just, you know, the curse you too. It could curse you too. You feel me? Like I don't know. You know. They <laughs> <laughs> saying in line. <laughs> For me, I think it's when they bring too much unnecessary drama. Oh, oh no, not a person. Ooh. Ooh. If you give me a headache. I can't, I can't deal with you. You supposed to bring me peace, joy, and happiness, not headaches. Right. Give them no, them no breathe hands. Cause I don't play. Oh, got on the inside. But no, for me, it's just like, like what everybody was saying, drama, negative feed, negative vibes, negative everything. Like, I don't need that in my life. I already have enough stress. Dealing exactly. with school, my family, money. I mean, if anything, my friends should be right here with me because we're all going through the same struggle. You shouldn't be bringing my name up right. in some somebody mouth. Ooh, Ooh. You're talking bad about me when yeah. I have shade. Shade is being thrown on this video. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but shut up, y'all need to shut. But all seriousness is. 
my name shall be brought up in anybody's mouth, you know, because I'm a good person. Everybody in here is a great person, you know what I'm saying? And it just hurts when somebody speaks bad on you, you know what I'm saying? But that's when you need to cut them things off, okay? Cut them like a split in, okay? So you yeah, had that fresh cut. Yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah, not. Right, see the bob? <laughs> even. 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 No. Yes. I just sliced y'all. <laughs> Okay. Is it okay for friends to argue? Duh. I mean, like, it depends on the situation. Okay. Yes, it does depend. It's a little okay. sticky. It's a little sticky. But we yeah, we all have disagreements. Right. We have, have disagreements, disagreements, but we disagree all the time, every day. Okay. Every day. We disagree before this. Right. Yeah. We should. <laughs> we sure did, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Right. I was low key bad. I was like, makeup on. We didn't. Know. I, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> but we all look cute though. Okay. Now they don't see the See me on the weekends. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is okay for friends to argue. It's just a part of your friendship growing. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of learning. It's your learning experience. If you argue over something, now if it's petty stuff all the time, then maybe <laughs> go back and cut them split ends off. But you know what I'm saying? It's a part of growing and being friends. For the long run, you know what I'm saying? Because they irritate me to my oh sometimes, and I just be needing a little space. And then we all back, we bounce back, we bounce back. Let's not took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's okay to like to disagree. You know, it's like everybody isn't gonna agree about everything that you say. Like you don't want nobody in your corner always like the yes man or you know. Yeah, yeah, girl, yeah, girl, yeah, girl, yeah, 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 yeah. Like your face so cute, like your eyes. Now arguing, I think that could be like it depends because me and Ashane, for example, we could argue, but we could be playing, or you know, we could have a disagreement. But you should have a alternative goal and mutual respect for each other to like we may disagree, but we could agree to disagree, or you know, we're not gonna let something get in between our friendship that we worked so hard over the years. You know, is it worth it? So I say it's okay as long as you remain respectful. That's all. You shouldn't be calling people out the name oh. and all of that. Some things shouldn't be said, even nope. though you having a disagreement or you so called mad. Period. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next. Do you tell your friends all your secrets? Dun, dun, dun. Well, are they really secrets if you tell all your friends? Girl, girl. <laughs> not wanted to tell them but like cuz I feel like it's uncomfortable for me to tell so if I wanted to tell my friends and I was comfortable when I comfortable 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 thank you comfortable enough to tell my friends then I would you know I told them a little something a few days ago yeah, that's you know I, 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 I've been holding that in for some years I've been holding it in for some years. There you go. But you know, this is all about if you have that right support system and knowing they're not going to give you that backlash and knowing they ain't going to talk stuff about you behind your back and knowing that they are trustworthy enough to keep your secrets or your embarrass embarrassing moments to themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't get that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, 300? <laughs> I mean, for me, and I think a lot of people could say this too, but it's fine to like tell your secrets or, you know, be open and stuff to your friends. But at the same time, I think it's okay and healthy, like, just to keep certain, some things to yourself. Just, you know, just, you know, just to, I don't know. God not, not everybody needs to know your business. I mean, yeah, not, and it's nothing against them, because yeah. I love them. I'll tell them stuff, but... Every A yeah, not Z every detail, life story man. detail, they may not need to know all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay to be open with them. So yeah, especially since like Cap said, you know, got that support system and that trust going on. It comes easier with time. So yeah. So moving on, um, <clears throat> characteristics you look for in a uh, friendship. 
loyalty. Show me Damn. that you always gonna be there. And I'll show you I never leave. That simple. Loyalty, yes. Trustworthy. Church yes. You gotta have a relationship with God. That just you, you gotta know God. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you gotta be the best relationship with you know mm -hmm. you gotta have some type of knowledge of God. Like that's just me. I need some friends with a sense of humor. You yeah, feel me? Too. Like, we could just be acting up. <laughs> and we act crazy. <laughs> Bro, mm. oh my God. D these people right here are so know. crazy. Yeah, they crazy, we be home. They're mean, so crazy, bro. Natural high. Natural high. <laughs> natural high. Natural high. Natural high. Natural high. Nothing in it. Um, Respect. Yeah. Definitely. I was, yeah, I was just respect. Like, respect. Yeah. Respect your boundaries. Respect Each everything. Other, right. Opinions, respect all of that. Yeah. You know. What are you guys funniest moments? Man, let me tell y'all. <laughs> funniest moment I think is when Cat got hit by an arm boy. Oh, oh, girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> watch this clip right here. <laughs> Like, 
supposed to say that. I'm saying. I know. Just to come with them, they make my face up, unless my skin is I'm this saying, so no, nah, like for real, like for real, like you be having these, these dog down days, be ready to cry just, just for, just for, no, you don't even know, just for no reason, right, down yourself and everything, but when you get regrouped back with your friends, it make you really tell y'all something. It may be a lot of people that come in and out your life, but you know, it's a few people who won't leave you. God, no, sure. of course, but ain't nobody gonna have your back like your girls. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. That just brings me back to it. Do you guys think we're gonna be friends after college? Of course we I do. Of yeah. course. No, like, no, like for real. Like on our late night talks, we talk about marriage. We talk about everything. Not we just right <laughs> wedding plans. We talk about everything like the bronze in that they say. Yeah. They said I'm gonna be it too, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. But we talk about these plans every, every, night, like, not every day, but, you know, every once in a while, you know, we just regroup. regroup. And it just make you realize, like, yeah. they gonna be with me till I die. Right. We gonna be riding. You know, we probably gonna be separated. Fall off. Probably they gonna be, be taking care of my kids. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they going up our Sinead house. Uh-uh, girl. -uh, One group at a time. Right? One group at a time. Right? One group at a time. Right? Okay. My babies come. My day. My babies come to stay. <laughs> but we probably gonna be separated after we after we graduate. Though. But it's all about being able to communicate. It's, yeah. It's all about That's true. you reaching out. To, Girl, we should meet up. Right. Girl, let's yeah. let's get some coffee, y'all. You know, you know. Hey, y'all. I got a question. Even though you friends with a group of people, is it this? Is it, is it necessary to talk every day? No, because day, because I have best friends and I don't talk to them every day. But once we regroup, it's like we never left. That's true. That's true. We never left. You ain't got to talk to them every day. I ain't got to talk to them every day. Mm -mm. It could be a week, and I'll be like, damn, I miss y'all. Mm -hmm. But let's let's get let's it. regroup. Let's we bounce back. It's all about them connections and that relationship. When you secure in your friendship and your relationship, you ain't got no worries about the people who I ain't, ain't there no with worries. you every second of the day. Right. Mm. And this ends the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> I hope you guys come back again. And remember, like, subscribe, and share. And I love you guys. Love you, Cam. And trust, we gonna be, they gonna be here again. Okay? Yes, we will.